I'm gonna show you step by step how to make this tool that I like to call the key to the city. Hey everyone, Delta 9 from Johnny Tactical here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to customize a mini pry bar so that you can carry it on your vest. You can carry it in SWAT, patrol, and detectives, and it's a really effective tool that's lightweight, compact, and easy to carry. One question you might have is, why would I wanna carry a pry bar on me? Well, first of all, the majority of times you're gonna need a pry bar is to get into a door through a door into a building structure or room. So what the mini pry bar does is it allow you to get into exterior doors, pop the locks on interior doors and, and get you through. Some doors are more substantial or they're tight fitting and you might need the mini pry bar to give you some space to get a larger prying tool into that door to get in. All right, so to make this thing here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the factory handle. It's too big and bulky, don't want that. After we remove the handle, we sand off the powder coat finish. Then we apply a bead of the adhesive, and then we're gonna wrap it in paracord, cut and burn the ends, which makes it super tactical, and then we're gonna take it with us wherever we go. Okay, so what you're gonna need for this project is a mini pry bar. This is a, about a 12 inch pry bar I got from Harbor Freight Tools for about $5. You're going to need some adhesive, this is just a Loctite adhesive. Just make sure that it can bond with both um, metal and uh, fiber. You're gonna need some medium to coarse sandpaper. And then finally, a length of paracord. This is about six feet. You won't need all that, but that'll get you started. First thing we're gonna do is we gotta remove this handle. I've got this vise here. I'm going to secure it in the vise, and I'm going to try to lower it. <coughs> And what I'm gonna do is pry this baby right off. Sweet. So we got the handle off, now we're gonna sand off a section um, for the paracord, which will be our new handle. So basically, I mean, just take your hand and just gauge, you know, where about your hand would be on this thing. So it's about that, it's about five inches maybe. We're gonna sand it off on all four sides. Okay, so what we want is, get this most of this finish off, you can take it all the way down to bare metal, all the way around, but what we wanna do is just give this adhesive something to grab onto. So we've got to move most of the finish. I'll keep working on that and then we'll add some glue. Okay, so what I did was I just marked with tape just for a visual point of reference, roughly width of what's going to be the handle. <clears throat> so what you need next now is your paracord. And so I'm gonna show you how to wrap it to make it come out kind of the way you want. This glue has a five minute working time, so you kind of have to work pretty quick, otherwise it'll be out of position. You don't need a lot of it, you just need to kind of start and stop the wrap, just so it doesn't come undone by accident. Okay, so what you want to do is form a loop like this, and I'm gonna start wrapping from the end. I'll apply a little bit of glue here uh, for the beginning part. You don't need much just to get started. So here we have our loop, and now I'm just gonna work my way around here. And it's simply winding, I'm simply winding it. So just hold it as best you can, keep it snug. <clears throat> oh no, it's not, not easy. And I'm just holding it snug, and I'm wrapping all the way around. Okay, so we left this loop here, and the purpose of that is to take up the, the slack, to basically end it. So I'm gonna pass it through like this, and then I'm gonna grab the bottom and pull. Had to really put some tactical muscle into that. 
pull. <clears throat> now we have an end. So I'll add a bead of glue here, right underneath. Oops. Get in there. So for yourself at home, um, just leave a longer tail something to grab because I gave myself not quite enough. And now I'm just gonna cinch it up because this glue hasn't quite dried yet. Got a few more minutes of working time like that. And I'll probably put a little bead onto this tail here just to keep everything snug. So, we wrapped and glued the ends. Now we have the slack we have to cut off. So I started with about a six foot piece of cord and that, this is how much is left. So that's about right. Just gonna cut the end. You know how paracord is, if you cut it and don't singe it, it's just gonna fray. So I'm just gonna singe it real quick. Okay, so we finished wrapping it, cut and singed the ends, and now this is the finished piece. So you can see that the cord that ran the length of this handle got a little twisted. So that's something to watch out for while you wrap it. However, it honestly feels fine in my hand. This is what we started with. This is what we finished with. And you can see the obvious size difference. By having this tool with you, you can be the hero. Because when you guys are up at the door and you need to get in and you don't have any way, you're gonna pull this baby out, pop that door open, and you guys will be in the room, in the house, in the building, doing what needs to get done. And you won't have to wait for somebody to run back to the cruiser and grab gear that you need because you're gonna have it on you and I'm gonna show you how. Okay, this little baby is small and strong. And now that we got rid of that big bulky handle, we can fit it on any of our vests, backpacks, go bags, whatever you need to fit it on. It's strong, it can open um, exterior, interior doors. It's easy to carry, it's lightweight. And most importantly, it's not expensive. There's a lot of gear out there and people charge you an arm and a leg for stuff. This pry bar was five bucks, the paracord, and the glue, I mean, maybe maybe $10 is what I spent. I'm gonna show you how to attach it to this plate here as an example in a backpack, just give you some ideas of what you can do with it. Okay, so what I did is I strung a loop of shock cord through the molly, and I've got one of these little retention clips, whatever you call these things, on there. You can steal this shock cord off of a jacket or a pair of pants, sometimes they come with it, you never use it, just cut it right off. Same thing with these things, you can get them off drawstrings or whatever, from some tactical gear you might have lying around and you never use it, just cut it off and steal it. So you make a loop, tie it off, pass it through your molly. Take your mini pry bar and all we're gonna do is pass it through the top of the loop to the bottom of the loop, like so. And then we just cinch it up. So this is an easy way and inexpensive way to attach it to your plate carrier. Same thing with, goes with backpack, go bag, but this works super, super well. It's very sturdy and, and in an emergency, you can pull this right out. There's nothing keeping it in here other than some tension, but you can pull it right out, get to work with it, and when you're done, you just stow it in a pocket. This is an external ballistic vest that we wear in detectives. This is my vest, and this is how I carry my mini pry bar. So I've got this uh, multi-purpose utility pouch. It's got some small uh, elastic webbing built in. And what I've done is I secure the mini pry bar with that same strip of, of bungee cord right inside my vest so that it's secure, it doesn't fall out. But I can simply pull on it, pull it out, and put it to work. And when I'm done, I tuck it right back in my pocket We'll put it in a back pocket and move on. Okay, this is my everyday ballistic vest that I wear under my uniform. My vest, like probably like yours, has a pocket for a trauma plate, which is accessible by Velcro here. What I've done is I take my mini pry bar, I slide it into the left or right, doesn't matter, whichever is easier for you, left or right side of my trauma plate. My trauma plate's inside here. This runs alongside it. Velcro the top, and now my pry bar is right here where I can reach it. Okay, I just threw on my uniform shirt over my vest. I still have my mini pry bar in the vest. It doesn't stick out, it's not bulky. It fits seamlessly within my, within my uniform. Now if I need it, all I do is reach down through my collar and I can reach my pry bar right here. I don't have to unbutton anything. I can simply pull in 
access my pry bar, use it, go to work. I'm Delta 9 from Johnny Tactical. Thanks for watching. Johnny Tactical exists to make law enforcement better from within and safer from without while helping you take your work seriously, but not yourself. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram where we release free content every week. Striking um, a coin, like, uh, bleh, I need to cut that. One question you might have is, dang it. Being tactical takes a lot out of you. <laughs> I am in the duty, bleh. All right, and break.